Up for your consideration is my Yamaha P350. Uh, the turntable has recently been completely serviced by me. I'll go through all the work that has been done step by step. So firstly, the speed switch has been cleaned out uh, using deoxy contact cleaner. I've cleaned the speed switch to ensure speed stability. I just installed the brand new belt under a week ago. The queuing function is currently fully working. Up and down, as is the cut function. The brand new cartridge sours combination is an Audio Technica 3600L. Uh, this has been mounted to a brand new carbon fiber Empire head shell. After this uh, combination was installed, I rebalanced the tone arm set the tracking and anti-skating appropriately given the specs given for the cartridge and stylus combination the back pivots and bearing for the tone arm have recently been completely cleaned out and re-lubricated to ensure smooth operation the dust cover is in okay condition considering the age. There are some scuffs, scrapes, and marks as can be seen. Uh, they may not show up completely on video. I'd give I'd give it maybe a six and a half or seven out of ten. Again, considering the age, kind of to be expected. The original dust cover hinges have long since been lost or broken that uh, did not have any hinges when I received the turntable so I've installed some custom hinges uh, they're functional it's not elegant dust cover can go up and down uh, stops and balances I have some bent nails again not elegant but completely functional and uh, I'll throw a record on for you guys. So I'll have some other videos kind of demonstrating the full functions. Uh, this is just for a sound test more or less. So there are some marks on the turntable itself. Uh, this corner is a little chewed up. Show this side. So nothing major, but just uh, full disclosure.
so this turntable actually has an interesting way to set the tracking force. So the arm is balanced with this little slide weight set to zero. And then it's balanced by adjusting this Kona weight in the back, back and forth. Once you have the arm balanced, the tracking force is then easily set by just sliding this weight back and forth on the graduated markings on the arm. That may be difficult to see on video. I might as well just show the auto return and auto off feature while we're here. Picks up, moves over back to rest, and the motor turns off.